the ship size are just increasing and increasing they are not reducing and the money is the same so that's how life is and now the guys are opening the one two three four. so this is uh, something special i have never seen this kind of a mooring system What's up guys welcome back to another day at sea and today we are going to Felix Stowe in London and uh, right now it's 9.30 in the morning and we have a passage in front of us but first I'll have to uh, take over my watch on the bridge as a navigation officer that is my primary job and it will start today so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet please do consider subscribing currently we had a small passage from Rotterdam all the way to Felix Stowe of around 18 nautical miles and uh, we covered it around 12 hours we had to wait for the pilots but first also i would like to show you so many windmills the wind farms you can see small small wind farms so well, it has been a long time since i said this but i want to pick up the pilot now from so stop outside like i showed you and then we will go to felix tour in the united kingdom but yeah this is the This is the gangway, the lower gangway of the ship, and pilot door. I'll just show you how it is on this particular vessel. This is the pilot ladder behind, pilot uh, door behind me, and our pilot is going to come from the aft. And let's let's uh, wait for them. And that is the arrangement. Put your chain, rope downstairs. the plan changed a little bit i was not called for the arrival because of the rest hours and uh, we have approached the port of felix stove i was sleeping and i thought i'll get the call but i did not that's uh, that's good also but uh, on 5th of july 2020 i was here and this is exactly the place from where i signed on and uh, today we want to come here go alongside and to the cargo operations and hopefully we can get our internet repaired because it's not working it's not working I hope you all like the time lapse and uh, we have a city which is very close by so uh, surely over here is possible let's see if i can go out or not but i just joined the ship so maybe maybe not this time next time so i am back on my watch and uh, in this particular ship we have a uh, ictus in the ship's office as well and you can see we are here somewhere here as you can see this is united kingdom i zoom out it takes time to load and if it goes zoom in that is how you saw in the time lapse when we were swinging around now we are here alongside and i will give you a tour of the entire ship ship of it don't you worry at first let's go to the monkey island and you can see we have few cranes forward Two planes behind. It is a pretty huge, huge port, and of course the ship is too big. So you'll see a great view of the city of Felixstow. Just somewhere there, you see houses. So guys, have you ever wondered how the twist locks of these containers on top are opened? Because I'm just going to show you right now. how they are done so basically the spreader is taking a carriage which has a guy and uh, they go on top and pull the twist locks using an actuator pole so it's a, it's a risky operation but it has to be done so that's how it is done yeah now what has happened is the spreader has come a bit low and now the guys are opening the 1 2 3 4 5 6 the seventh tier over there and they do it for the entire length of the ship so it is incredibly tough and hats off to these guys because yeah their life uh, 
depends on the wires of the crane and how the crane operator is so it's not an easy job at all i must must say thank you to them all and the sun is about to set and the moon is out bright another day in the port this uh, is going to be a european coastal on the ship for the next uh, 10 days and then we have a sea passage and then we go to the oceans for sailing and i love sailing to be honest because boats get cause port gets direct so guys with me i have my two electricians on board monkey bob musk number 1 is our senior electrician first of all that's malik right yeah. malik and this is yeah me and me is from burma he joined yeah, with me right yeah. in rotterdam right yes yes so they are going to test the smoke detectors yeah. on the port so uh, yeah. we have time so therefore i got the opportunity to see it to this one this is this is smoke detector uh, tester okay. okay so we can test uh, smoke as well as the uh, heat also okay so that's good okay, okay it's working yeah now you can see this uh, light is stable yeah and this means the sensor and is it's okay. working it's yes, working hmm. like i was showing you yesterday how the Uh, Stevie does, uh, you know, take out the twist locks. It's happening on our ship currently. Over there. So uh, many of you were asking me if uh, suppose you're joining the ship for the first time as an officer or an engineer, then what are the things uh, that you should keep in mind? First thing is if you if you know someone on the ship, then ask them to send you a PDF of the manuals of the ship. So if you are at uh, home or quarantine, then it is a good time pass to just uh, see the orientation of the ship. and perhaps if you are from the tech side then see the equipment on the bridge or if you are from the engine side then the engine manuals for sure but the overall if you are from the deck side then i would suggest you uh, revise your coal regs that is rules of the road and for engineers i don't have an idea yet but i have a few friends here who will come in the future vlogs and tell you more about this for sure and i have my batch not batchmate which i have uh, people from my same college which was uh, which was tulani maritime institute so uh, a lot of content coming up with these guys also guys i was thinking in each vlog i will take up a few questions and answer them in between the vlog so uh, it will be helpful for you uh, yeah you will learn many things about the ship life but at the same time i will uh, try to help you with the general questions of merchant navy and marine related uh, questions so uh, do leave in your comments for the next vlog what all should you uh, want to know from the merchant navy side or the marine side or the monkey bow musk side or whatever so i'll try to answer them it's the third day in pelex stove and i just woke up like um, 10 minutes back it is 6 12 in the morning because we are doing 6 on 6 off and i saw a beautiful sight a big msc ship is going to pass us and there is another msc ship coming in so looks like it has two tugs number 1 and number 2 which are just escorting it out out of felix stove and that msc ship is going to wait because this is a very narrow channel here hence uh, The big ships pass by first. <laughs> Third engine went away. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, two guys are signing off today. The happiest people on board, and uh, we'll just prepare the crane for them. Which will be yeah, that crane, and then offload their luggage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So guys, uh, whenever there's a situation like this, a big ship passing by close to us, what we do is we come to the mooring station and we check all the tension on the winches so that so that the mooring ropes don't part because there's a huge surge which comes because you can see the ship size. It's as not as big but bigger than uh, the usual. So. Uh, you can see two tugs over there one is pulling other is also pulling so that it doesn't go sideways and i'll show you in the mono we carry out uh, soon so guys just saw this beautiful sailing boat right over here 
and on a sunday no today is not sunday but yeah they are just hanging around in this beautiful beautiful weather and we've got another ship coming in it's from stena line there that sailboat goes so this is uh, something special i have never seen this kind of a mooring system and uh, i will have to see because generally we keep it on a bollard and this is not on a bollard this is connected to a machine kind of a thing so guys i hope you like this video because i'm going to make a lot of them like this and uh, especially on the ports because i love ports only for the shooting part not for the operation part but yeah and for the for your information that is the bollards on which are Stern lines are currently uh, placed. So if you did like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you in Antwerp because that's the next one.